Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Division video. Continuing with the weekly coverage, today I want to talk about items, loot and in-game currency. Now I know a lot of you were asking in the last video where all this information came from, so just to clarify, all of this has come from various interviews with Ubisoft and the team at various different events. So the information is confirmed, but is also still subject to change given that the game is still in development. But as it stands, until otherwise stated, this is confirmed. So, with that out of the way, let's talk items. In the division, you are left to fend for yourself in this vast open world, and like any good survival experience, you'll need to make use of what's around you, and of course, ration what you have. When you begin the game and you're dropped into the world, you will have 72 hours worth of supplies. That includes food, water, med packs, ammunition, weapons, all that jazz, stuff you'd usually use to keep yourself alive and fend off any would-be bandits or hostiles. Now once you pass those 72 hours and you're out of items and supplies, then it's down to you to scavenge and salvage whatever you come across. You've no doubt seen in the footage that when you walk through certain areas, there will be items listed around, abandoned police stations, shops, warehouses, you name it. The main thing is to keep your eyes open. All of these supplies will be vital to your survival in the long run. Med packs will be used for both healing and for curing infection. Food and water will be used as buffs, so it won't be like in DayZ where, for example, you have to eat to stay alive, but instead, keeping well fed will put you in a better standing than if you go in hungry. Then on top of that, you can salvage items of clothing, you know, arm pads, hoodies, jackets, masks, gloves, you know, the list goes on. It's not currently known whether this will just be cosmetic or whether it will have statistical implications as well, so I'll report back on that as and when we know more, but for the time being, that is a surefire way to customise the way you look. Building on that however, you can get items such as body armour and bandoliers that hold more weapons, so while some of the items may still remain cosmetic, others may have slightly more useful applications. And on top of that, you can obviously pick up weapons you find lying around, so just like you can scavenge bottles of water, med packs, food and stuff like that, you can also scavenge weapons. Sometimes you might be lucky and you'll find them lying around in a crate, other times you might just find them on the floor, you know, it might be for after like an encounter with some enemies and you might pick them up from there. And if you want to improve those weapons, you can also collect or scavenge parts which you will then use to upgrade them and make them slightly more effective in combat. Now, if you're in need of items at a particular time, the game does have a currency system which then ties into the existing vendors. Right now we're not certain in what capacity vendors will exist, it's likely that there'll be kind of like, you know, safe zones, camps. Think about how it works in like an MMO, you know, you've got this massive vast open world, you wander around but then you come to say like a city where you find loads of vendors, but then when you're out and about in the town, largely you don't really encounter anyone, unless it's sort of like a roaming merchant or something. And if these sort of like safe zones or camps do exist, then it's likely that's where you'll go to purchase supplies, you know, if you're running low and you haven't sort of scavenged anything in the meantime. But I wouldn't rely on them heavily because I imagine, given the kind of setting of the game, that these areas will be quite sparse. The other cool thing is that the game has a black market which will allow you to buy and sell items. Now in true black market fashion, items sold through the black market will result in them taking a cut of your earnings, but you know that's to be expected. You look at say World of Warcraft, you know they've got an auction house, you know you sell your items and then depending on how much you put up, they take a cut of that. But that's still fine. The thing you want to sort of take from this is that, you know, an auction house is a really really cool thing. I mean, Division's supposed to be this big massive kind of persistent world with like, you know, a hell of a lot going on. And you know, you take something like Destiny for example, which's got a hell of a lot of stuff going on, but everything you collect is, you know, self-contained, you know, it's personal to you and there's no sort of, you know, trading or anything like that. But you know, having this sort of like method, this kind of mechanic set up does mean that it adds a whole layer of gameplay. You know, you look at something again, I go back to World of Warcraft as an example, just the whole sort of social economy side of things is just a massive game in itself. You know, there are people that just work the economy in that game. So having a black market in this does potentially offer for that option. Now I will however talk about the auction house in more detail in another video but for the time being that is it for this video. That kind of just sort of like a brief overview of items you can get, you know, customization, sort of some of the things that will actually be sort of like available to you. So things worth sort of like keeping out or things worth keeping your eye out for. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, show your support, that does really help me out. And obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you think of today's video and what you think of sort of the information contained within it. What do you think of the kind of prospect of a black market, sort of an auction house? Is that something that excites you or would you rather kind of just sort of buy things from vendors? Either way, let me know what you think. But once again, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.